This is the second video about new features in the version 7 designer. The first video talked about defining multiple layouts per template. Another new feature is the possibility to print multiple records on a single card. You need this for cards that after printing can be broken in two or more parts. This feature can perfectly be used in combination with multiple layouts, as will be shown in the present video. Imagine that we have a printer that prints double sized cards and I want to print two records on each card. To adapt the current definition I have to open the designer and go to the page setup. In the template tab I can set the standard CR80 size to double height. Below, I can tell Card Exchange that a card should be split into two rows, one for each record. If we now print the two records, you will see that they are positioned one below the other on a single page. When printing multiple records per card, special care has to be taken when the card is double sided. Card Exchange needs to make sure that the front and the back side of each record are printed on the same piece of the card. Card Exchange can only do that when it knows for each page whether it will be printed on the front or on the back side. To that end, there is a checkbox in the page layout menu called Backside. In the remainder of this video I will show three more interesting features, scaling text, adding borders and defining ghost images. So let's add a text object to be scaled and bordered and an image to be converted into a ghost image. As you can see, the text does not precisely fit into the available space. Therefore I will open the properties window and go to the text settings. Here you can find several options for fine tuning the text layout. First of all, I can distribute the text over more than one row. This is still not enough to make the text fit, but fortunately I can also stretch the text. Either uniformly, or non-uniformly, distorting the text. Normally, you would only use this functionality to scale the text down, but if you like, you can also stretch to make the text bigger, and to fill up the available space. Apart from stretching, you can also truncate the text with ellipses. Finally, the line height property allows you to control the distance between the text lines. Personally, I prefer to stretch the text uniformly. And let's give it one line more. You can set a border around an object using the border section in the home menu. For a more detailed control you can go to the border tab in the properties window. Here you can set the border thickness for each side individually and you can also configure rounded corners.
The way the border is placed around the text depends on the content alignment. You can avoid the white space at the bottom by changing the content alignment. If you think that the border is placed too tightly around the text, you can add white space by using the padding property in the properties window. The last thing to show is how to define ghost images. A ghost image is nothing else than an image that is partially transparent. The opacity level can be set in the visibility tab. If you want a non-uniform opacity, you can use the opacity mask, either using a gradient brush or using an image that serves as opacity mask. In two videos you have seen the most important new features of Card Exchange Designer version 7. Thank you for your attention.